everybody. Dean Clifford here today with your Freeman update. So I think we're on our fourth day of framing around here and in light of all the uh, sudden uh, attention that we all seem to be getting in the, uh, the newspapers, CBC, uh, online and what was that? Na National Post article the other day. Uh, we're starting to get some newer videos out uh, and producing them. I've been a little busy at work right now and that's actually why I wanted to comment today. After reading some of the comments on the uh, National Post website there where people were calling us a bunch of freeloaders and telling us to get out of the country if we don't like uh, paying taxes or stop using their roads uh, and, and especially just the freeloader comments, uh, th those ones are, uh, let's address those. Um, this is what I do every day. So when I'm done framing for, uh, I don't know, sometimes 10, sometimes 12, sometimes 16 hours a day. These people making comments online calling me a freeloader, telling me to leave the country if I don't want to pay uh, taxes, income taxes. Okay, most people couldn't even wear my tool belt for a day, never mind would fill my shoes. These cowards that are, that are speaking online uh, in anonymity. Um, I come to work every day, I wear a tool belt that looks like this. It has an array of weapons, uh, unlike the ones the police use where they use real weapons to try to extort money from you. And then I work all day doing this. And for some reason, when I get home at the end of the day after doing this, the people of Canada seem to think that they own part of my labor for that day. And they, they seem to think that maybe if I don't want to pay them a percentage of what I made today, that I shouldn't use the roads that are paid for the gasoline taxes. And I'll have you know that I pay more in gasoline taxes every year than most people earn in a yearly income. I spend 30000 a year on fuel. How much do you think of that as taxes? Okay, that's more than a minimum wage job that I pay every year just in fuel taxes alone. So those people that want to call me a freeloader, come to my job site for a day, and you call me a freeloader on my own job site. We'll see how, how well that goes over. So we're going to be coming out with some new videos here pretty soon. I'm going to teach everybody how to deregister from the system, how to not file or pay income taxes anymore. The people of Canada do not own my labor. Nobody owns my labor but me. If they own a percentage of my labor, does that mean they can show up here and tell me how long I'm going to work today because they own a percentage of what I make? Does that mean they come and tell me what time I leave the house to go to bed or to, to go to work in the morning? I don't think so. None of this makes sense. So uh, believe our theories are not all you want. I've been arrested I don't know how many times, and I keep winning. I'm up to my fifth assault charge now for resisting arrest, throwing cops around like Constable Drain. Okay? It's not hard. And if, I, if, if what we're doing is wrong, why can't they convict me? Why can't they keep me in jail? So we're going to get serious about this stuff here in the next few weeks. There's going to be a lot of interviews coming up. There's going to be a lot of new teaching. And uh, it's time to get this movement really going forward. No war in Syria. <laughs> Okay, everybody, so this is uh, what me and my brother uh, framed here in the last uh, four days total now on our own. So anybody out there who wants to call me a freeloader because I refuse to give the Canadian people uh, a percentage of my labor, come on down to my job site and tell me that to my face. Or better yet, come and, come and take part of my paycheck uh, when I'm done this job. Or better yet, come down here and try to work with us for the day. We're going to see who's the freeloader. And we're going to see who's the welfare bum that would rather go collect a check from the government than come out here and actually work like a man for the first time in their lives. Good day. So I guess on a final note here, uh, people of Canada, citizens of the foreign democracy of Canada, if you want me to stop driving on the roads that I pay for, and you want me to not be here anymore because uh, I refuse to pay for uh, pay, file income taxes that you believe pays for hospitals, Tell you what, if I gotta start paying for all that stuff, then the people of Canada better have my fucking paycheck this Friday for my share of the resources that have been squandered and pillaged for the last hundred years. As soon as I get my paycheck for all my royalties, for my birthright, to everything on this land that has been squandered and pissed away by this government, I will be glad to stop. And then it'll be user pay. I'll pay for services as I need them. You just make sure that my uh, dividend check is coming in the mail for my royalties quarterly every year. Then, then, we'll see. <laughs>